If you just got the Bob Ross for kids, happy lesson in a box, perhaps from one of my links, thank you, but also congratulations. This video is all about best tips and practices and some parenting hacks that you'll want to know before you actually dive into this kit. Make sure you watch this video before actually painting with this paint set. Here we go. Number one is we obviously know you're gonna be painting with little kids out there. And as we know, kids are messy. So make sure that they have an apron on. Don't have an apron? Please make sure that your kids are wearing old dirty clothes that you don't care about. We all know kids are messy. I would know from my nieces. Kids are gonna get paint everywhere and then they're gonna rub it on their clothes. While the Bob Ross acrylic paint set is water soluble and easy to clean up, some of the paints can stain clothes, so make sure you use clothes you don't care about. You're most likely gonna be using the Bob Ross Happy Lesson in a Box paint set on a table, more likely your kitchen table. So protected, I recommend laying down a protective barrier. Newspaper is great if you still get newspaper delivered to your home, but if you don't, and it's probably more likely that you don't, I recommend using a drop cloth, or if you're like me, some old towels work great. Just lay them on your table and you're good to go. If you can, try not to paint with your canvas boards completely flat. In fact, lay them at an incline. Use some spare books, perhaps a brick, or some spare DVDs, and put it at an incline. This will help with your brush strokes and actually reduce stress on your neck for you and your little ones. I also recommend if you think your little ones are gonna be aggressive with the paint and paint strokes, that you actually tape down the canvas boards. This way the canvas board won't move from side to side and won't interrupt with your art piece. If you watch my review on the Bob Ross for kids happy lesson in a box, you notice that I said the only worthless thing is the mixing palette. And I stand by that. It is too small for any kid out there. It's going to make bigger messes and not allow them to be creative. So I recommend you make your own mixing palette. If you have any leftover canvas boards, just use this. Look how much bigger it is already. Cover this with wax paper, hold it down with some binder clips or some painter's tape, and you got yourself an awesome makeshift mixing palette. When you're all done, just crinkle up the wax paper and throw it away. If you've used all of your canvas boards or perhaps you've got three kids painting at the same time and you don't have any more, if you have Amazon deliveries come to your house, just do this. Cut off a wing of cardboard from the side and you can use that with wax paper and binder clips or painter's tape. And now you have a bigger and better mixing palette that again is disposable and makes for easy cleanup. With your paints, whether it be the liquid white or any of the acrylic paints that you have, I really recommend that a parent be in charge of these because you only need to use a little bit of paint for certain things. And if you squeeze it out of the tube, there's no point putting it back because it's most likely gonna mix with other colors, ruining all the rest of the paint that's in the tube. So only squeeze out what you need. Start with a little bit at a time because you can always add more to your mixing palette. Oh, and another strong reason why this is important is these are acrylic paints. So they'll begin to dry the minute you squeeze them out. So I recommend leave them in the tube as long as possible because that's gonna increase the longevity of the wetness of the paint, making it more like a Bob Ross wet on wet painting. This kit is super dope and it comes with five awesome tutorials. However, it only comes with three canvas boards. I really recommend getting yourself some extra canvas boards to do the remaining two tutorials or if you want to experiment and go beyond. I'm gonna put down in the video description some canvas boards that I recommend. The nice thing about canvas boards is they're extremely affordable for doing painting. They're just like a dollar per board depending on the size you want or sometimes even less, but you know, look down in the video description for the best deal. Should have thought of a better segue, but moving on. <laughs> All right, a very niche tip here for you is you get a kid script liner brush that comes with a nice protective coating on here. Since this brush has probably been within shipping in the factory for a long time, it's been compressed with the hairs, which means all the hairs are extremely hard here at the end, not making it very easy for doing branches or very delicate work or even signing your name with your painting. What I recommend is get yourself a glass container, any container out there, and fill it with lukewarm water. Now put the paintbrush in there, just enough to cover the bristles to loosen them up. And then you can take the paintbrush after, I don't know, a minute or two, and just gingerly loosen up all the bristles with your fingertips. That way they'll be more bendable, flexible, and pliable for all the painting that you want to do. 
Another good paintbrush tip that I just thought about that I do with my real paintbrushes is when you get your paintbrushes directly from the factory or store, there's most likely gonna be loose hairs in here. So make sure you beat the devil out of your brushes. Literally go up and down and get those loose hairs out. Take your fingertips and squeeze and pull out anything that may be a loose hair. You don't want those loose hairs falling on your final product. And with acrylic paint, since it's gonna dry real quickly, there's a strong chance that that hair can dry on your finished piece not really ruining your piece, but trust me, you're not gonna like it. So make sure you beat the devil out of your brushes. Before you paint, I think I said that, right? If I didn't, beat the devil out of your brushes before you start painting. Beat the devil out of them. All right, so you did all your painting and your kids or your nieces and nephews painting looks fantastic, and I'm sure it actually does, is make sure you take all the supplies that you use and clean it up right away. You can use soap and water with this kit here, which is nice and awesome. But make sure you do it right away with lukewarm water because like I said, acrylic paint likes to dry fast. You only have a window of a couple of minutes to probably a maximum of 10 to 15 minutes before everything starts hardening up in these brushes. So make sure that you clean up your station right away. Now, fair warning, some of these colors are gonna be a little strong in pigment, which means they are going to dye the hair on your brushes, especially your fan brush since it's white. That doesn't mean your fan brush or any of your bristles on your hairs are ruined. That's just the natural properties of painting. So don't worry about it. It'll be fine for when you wanna use it the next time. Okay, gonna throw in an awesome bonus tip for all you parents out there that have, let's just say, a little more rambunctious kids out there or kids with high energy. And this is perfect for my nieces because they have a lot of energy and don't like to sit still. When you go through the Bob Ross how-to comic book and you follow the steps, there's gonna be sections in there that tell you that you have to wait for certain areas to dry so you can build layers on top of layers. Generally, they tell you to wait about 10 minutes. That's a lifetime to a kid that's got paint at their hands ready to go. So an awesome tip you can do is get yourself a hair dryer and hair dry the heat on top to expedite the process. You're probably wondering why I have a hair dryer. You don't get gorgeous hair like this without a hair dryer. It's my lion's mane. I should probably edit that out or leave it in, who cares? Now I know a lot of professional painters out there are rolling their eyes because hair drying your paint is bad because you can shell over the acrylic paint. These are kid canvas panels and kid paintings. Most of the paint's gonna soak right into the canvas panel so there won't be much shelling to begin with. So don't worry about it. This is just to help speed up the process, especially if you plan on doing a group activity because you don't want to have every kid wait so long. Okay, best tip to literally wrap up the video for the Bob Ross for kids, happy lesson in a box is little ones out there are very, very visual learners. So I recommend, you know, double hitting them with the visual aesthetics out there so that way they understand what's going on. The cool thing about the Bob Ross uh, for kids paint set here is there's actually a YouTube link where you can go and there's a CRI instructor who does a great job of teaching you step by step how to follow all the painting tutorials in the book. I recommend pull that up so your little ones can watch and see what's going on and then hitting pause. Then you as the adult read in the comic how to book what needs to happen, plus you'll have a greater understanding of some things that may have been missed in the YouTube tutorial, plus it teaches you when to stop to allow your paint to dry. Give them both of these visuals, because trust me, it's gonna really help them understand what's going on, and then you can always go back and hit play or refer back to the comic book when you need to. These are gonna be the best ways to teach your little ones to create awesome masterpieces. And if they do create awesome masterpieces, hey, I wanna see it. Make sure you send it to me on my Instagram account with the hashtag wildcreates, which you can find down in the video description. Or if you need the paint set, you can click through my affiliate links. It costs you nothing, but I greatly appreciate the support. Or if you wanna upgrade to the oil master kit, you can do that as well. In fact, I'm gonna put a couple of videos over to my side that show you everything you need to know about the Bob Ross Master Oil Paint Set. It's awesome, and you can check out that video right now.